Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're talking about CORES, which is cross-origin resource sharing. Now this is a feature that actually re relaxes the security of your website or API. By default, uh, the same origin policy applies in browsers, all the browsers, so you can only call from your origin um, back to your web server. So this you know that's in place to kind of mit to help mitigate uh, cross-site scripting attacks. Now, there are cases where you want to relax this, but you don't want to be able to let everybody in, uh, and that's where Cause helps us. It can specify certain origins that are allowed to access uh, the API. So if you've got a subdomain or particular third-party websites, you can let in just those uh, rather than everyone, and it does this by um, returning a um, a cause header in the response headers and the browsers is only the browsers that implement this by the way if you try and access an API from the command line there's no cause in place you can access it so it's just a browser security feature um, you know same origin doesn't apply when you run fetch from a node app you can get you can get to the data uh, right, so let's let's jump in and have a, have a look at an example. So I've got a couple of API sites here. Uh, we've got the Star Wars one here, um, and let me let me just go back to the network here uh, and clear that down. So if I was going to make a call uh, here now, so because I'm on the Star Wars site, I'm on the same origin, so I can call this API without any problems at all. If we look at the network request, we, um, our response, we're getting a 200 response. Um, the response headers here don't specify, they don't even need to specify any course headers because the browser is going to let you see this information anyway. If we were on a different origin, the browser would only let you see it if that course header, uh, it's actually called access control um, allow origins um, it, only if that is present and it's got your origin on it um, so got another one here Chuck Norris one we can make a call to Chuck Norris and if we look at that one it's very similar um, nothing required there so let's you know that's BAU but let's now create a site that's not from the origin of these sites and try and call into it then so if I open up code and we'll just create uh, an index.html and we'll put some boilerplate there and we'll just create a script and we're going to call fetch in here and we're going to try and fetch let me just make this a bit bigger it should be bigger on there as well and even this one we'll just make a bit bigger so let's have a look. What call did I make? Here's the call I made from the website. So let's try and call that. Now it's going to be a get. So I just need to specify that as a get. And then we will get some JSON back. So we'll turn our response into JSON. And that will then give us the data. And we're just going to console log that out like so. Let's try and make that a little bit nicer. Okay, so uh, made an error here. Return is up JSON. It doesn't like that because why don't you like that? don't even need to do return really I'll probably just accept that yeah there's an implicit return on that one that's fine okay let's open this up in live server and make it a bit bigger and if we open up the dev tools in here we can see what's been called so what we're getting back in this case if I just refresh it again we get back R2D2 um, so that is fine 
and if we look in the network we can see our call here our fetch call and we compared to when we were the first two that we did we're now seeing a different response header the access control allow origin so the star wars api website has basically per star so it's allowing anyone to access this api so its cause implementation has added this in the response and our browser because it sees this is going to let us see the data if that wasn't there then coming from this origin localhost 5500 we wouldn't be able to get at the data and we'll show i'll show that um, in a second now as well um, let's quickly do the chuck norris one so the chuck norris joke if we call that Uh, what do we see if I refresh this now you can see it's called random here this is our fetch call and again we've got this access control allow origin and it's got our actual origin in here um, it's also got another one related to cause here um, so there's, there's there's fine there's more control you can have over it this one specifies that our fetch call could have passed credentials if it wanted but we didn't so that one uh, didn't matter okay so in both these cases anyone can use the api they've opened it up to to allow anyone to use it we wouldn't want to do that you would want to specify a particular one so let's have a look now at it failing so i'm just going to create a test directory here and then i'm going to create a dot net um, api for us to use as the test so this will just scaffold out a very simple weather forecast API for us. And if I open that up and I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to build this and then run it. So this is our demo API, similar to the Chuck Norris one and the Star Wars one, um, but it's got no cause implementation. So I'm going to grab this out and try and get it on the left there. So we've got two websites here. We've got the website that we were calling Chuck Norris with uh, just here a minute ago and Star Wars. And so that's on a different origin. And now we've got a new API, our API here. So I can get to the weather forecast in this view here because i'm on the same origin even though there's no cause being added it doesn't need cause it's on the same origin it's it's happy the browser's happy with that but what if i call this from our other website well, i'll put this call now in here and refresh here so you can see we're getting an error here now and if I go into the console, we're getting this access to fetch the weather forecast from our origin has been blocked by the cause policy. Because it's not seeing this access control allow origin header, the browser is saying, no, you can't look at this data. I need, I need this header in the response, and then you can see it. So we need to add this header in our API to allow um the other origin you know probably just a subdomain of our, our domain access to the api so let's try and add that in um if i come into the startup here now i've got a snippet that i can add here um which i'm just going to go and find it so dot net core cores should get us there and I can just grab this here. So this enables cores in a .NET Core application. And we need to specify a name for it. So I'll just call it default. And then we need to specify which origins, because we're not opening up for everyone. We just want one. And that origin is going to be our website here. So it's going to be this thing here. So I'm going to replace all of that with 
our origin there and I don't need the slash so I need it like that and I can also say just to be sure that this works allow any header just in case we're passing anything and allow any method as well and that should be fine let's try and tidy it up okay and in here I just need to say app dot use cores like so and that should be good so let's stop that um, do a build and run that back up so let's have a look is it still working here yeah, we're still able to get the forecast from the same origin. Now from our app, will we still get this cause error? Or has access control allow origin, this header now been added? No, it still failed. It still failed because Ah, I needed to specify in here that name. So this maps to the policy. So let's build and run. And now, we, oh, it's already run it. So we run it here. You can see we're now getting back the weather information in JSON in here on our application. And if I go to the network and look at the call, you can see once again we've got access control allow origin so our new web api is now adding that in browser sees it and it says okay you can look at this so this just got to remember that this is just a browser thing it's um you know outside the browser anyone can access it same origin policy doesn't apply you don't need cause but in the browser cause is what will allow you to specify who can use your API. So when you've, quite often you'll build a website maybe and have it on your domain and then you might have a subdomain for the API and then for your website to be able to call back, it's on a different origin. So you're gonna to have to add that cause policy in place to make sure it returns this header. Uh, so there you go, that's, um, that's cause. I hope that was interesting. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more videos, click on that subscribe button below. And thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.